welcome back to another weekly vlog. If you're new here, my name is Marissa. I talk about all things healthy and balanced living. Oh my gosh, it is such a freaking beautiful day outside today and I'm so excited because this is what us Ohioans, because I'm from Ohio, like to call the last hurrah, the Indian summer of November. Every single year in November, there's like one last week where it's super nice outside. It's like 65 degrees and sunny and that is what's happening this week. I'm gonna go outside on a walk and just enjoy it because I'm not ready for winter. I don't know about you, but winter is just not really my jam. Anyways, in this week's weekly vlog, we are talking a healthy and productive week in my life, an affordable skincare routine, which I am headed to Target right now to do, and also just some tips and tricks and updates on my weight loss journey. I turned 25 just a couple weeks ago, and if you guys didn't check out that vlog, I will link it right here for you to check out. I know, I'm old. But I was looking up articles that said 25 things that you should be doing at 25, and one of the articles said that at 25, you should start an anti-aging skincare routine, which I was aware, rude, I know, but that's okay. I've been meaning to do this for a couple years now. My parents gave me some birthday money and I was like, you know what? Instead of spending my birthday money this year on taxes, cause I did that last year, hashtag unemployed. I'm gonna spend my birthday money on revamping my skincare routine. <laughs> I just got back from Target and really quickly I want to share with you the products that I got for my new affordable skincare routine. Everything that I got is not affiliated at all but I just want you to know that this opinion is completely my own. Also all of these products that I picked up were dermatologist recommended and I got it from a girl that I found on YouTube and I will link her channel in my description if you guys are interested. I'm all about being science based and research based and I think it's so so important to take advice especially when you're purchasing products from people that know what they're actually talking about. In total I spent $121.51 to completely reduce do my skincare routine. That is super expensive, but I got the value size in all these products and I think that it's gonna last me anywhere from six months to 10 months, maybe even a year. I truly believe buying in bulk to make your things last longer, it's just more cost effective that way. So the first thing I got was this CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. This one was raved about by the dermatologist that I followed on YouTube. This cleanser cleanses, hydrates, and helps restore the protective skin barrier. The dermatologist said that it's so, so important to preserve your skin while it's still elastic, has lots of collagen in it, and really plump instead of trying to reverse it later. So this one is going to be a staple in my skincare routine. I'm going to use it every single morning and at nighttime and I'm really excited to try it. I also got CeraVe's. I pretty much got everything CeraVe because CeraVe is a dermatologist recommended brand as well as Neutrogena and I got Neutrogena as well. So I got the CeraVe Vitamin C Serum. This baby was expensive. It was $20 and it's only one fluid ounce but this is a holy grail in your skincare routine if you are trying to preserve your nice 20 some skin and I was like you know what there's no better investment to make than in yourself. I'm going to use that pretty much every single morning morning just to brighten my skin. I also got CeraVe's moisturizing cream. I really wanted to find a extra heavy duty moisturizer for the days in Ohio, especially when it's winter time and the air is super, super dry and it's super cold outside. I find that my skin is worse in the winter time than it is in the summertime because the air is so dry. So anytime that it's super, super dry outside, I'm going to use this moisturizer instead of CeraVe's daily moisturizing lotion, which I actually already have and I use every single day. I also got CeraVe's renewing SA cleanser. This is actually a chemical exfoliant. Exfoliator. Lately, I've just been doing DIY exfoliators, which probably isn't the best. And I feel like that's just not very good. If you guys are exfoliating, make sure you only exfoliate your skin two to three times a week. Otherwise, you're just going to rip it up and it's really bad for it. It just helps get all the dirt, oil, and sweat off of your skin. And for a girl that's super sweaty and works out pretty much every single day, that is so, so important for me. I also got sunscreen because there is no better anti-aging routine that you can do than to use sunscreen. And then I also got Neutrogena's tinted moisturizer because one of my goals for 2021 is to stop wearing makeup products that are destroying my skin because every time I put makeup on I always break out and it's just not pretty so I want to use tinted moisturizers instead. Lastly I got Olay's Regenerous Retinol 24 Night Cream and I'm really really excited to try this. This baby was expensive. It was $32 and I was trying to decide between this and the CeraVe's Retinol. Retinol is like the holy grail for all skincare products. If you guys aren't using Retinol, start using Retinol. It is dermatologist recommended and it is proven to basically preserve the quality of your skin while you are still young and even improve it if you already are a little bit older and you need a better skincare routine. I wanted to use the CeraVe's retinol cream but honestly I couldn't justify the price. It was like $20 for one fluid ounce and I also needed a nighttime cream and this one was a retinol and a nighttime cream in one for $32. So I was like may as well get a good bang for my buck so I went for that as well. But I'm super super excited to try this new skincare routine. It was really really affordable considering how long these products are going to last me and I'll keep you guys updated. <laughs> So 
as I was driving back from Target, my mom called me and asked me if I wanted to go to TJ Maxx and Hobby Lobby to run some errands. And I was like, heck yes, I'll come back up here. So I drove home, got in the car, and then drove back to the city that I was at that I was shopping in and had like a girl's day with my mom and my sister. And then we went and got Starbucks holiday drinks. I've been loving the chestnut praline latte. Super yummy, not good for you at all, but hey, life is all about balance, am I right? I honestly have not gotten much done today, just a little bit of filming and some computer work in the morning, but I've had a very soul fulfilling somewhat of a personal day and hopefully work will pick up soon because as you guys know, still working on my company, but sometimes a little slow day here and there is good for the soul. Tuesday. I don't know why every single time that I introduce the vlog, I always do like just hands, but it just kind of happens. Anyways, I had a very healthy and productive morning. This is a pretty slow week for work and I'm really just doing my best to fill the time because again, I'm still waiting on my manufacturing facility. And there's not much that I can do right now. So I'm just kind of like looking for jobs because I'm looking for like a side job to do as my business starts to take off and it's really annoying. All I want to do is just work, grow my business. Sometimes you got to wait on other people's schedules and it can get a little bit frustrating, but that's okay. We're still going to have a happy, healthy, and productive week. Today was day one of my brand new skincare routine and I am feeling freaking fantastic. Fantastic. I will say I tried the Neutrogena sunscreen and I'm not loving the way it's feeling on my skin It's feeling a little bit greasy. Maybe that's just how sunscreen's supposed to feel I'm just gonna have to get used to it. So whatever everything else was great Anyway, since today is an Indian summer kind of week I really want to go back and experience the fall leaves again I did that in my last weekly vlog, which I'll link right here if you guys are interested <laughs> I am so happy right now because going on a walk in nature, I feel in the fall time is both healthy and productive and Elena has agreed to come along with me. Much better than homework. Yes. <laughs> Grade today. <laughs> that was such a soul fulfilling walk. It did not disappoint the first time. It did not disappoint the second time. Are you in a better mood? I wasn't in a bad mood. I'm in a better mood. I wasn't in a bad mood, but I'm just happier now. Yeah. I was telling Lena that's why I feel like I could never live in like New York City because I love going out in nature and I like space like a normal person, right? So, anyways, we're gonna head home and get some lunch. my video look freaking aesthetic but one lives in their parents basement there's really not much you can do about it <laughs> Good morning guys, happy Wednesday. I was trying to make my video look more aesthetic with this freaking fake plant that I have in my room that my cat Calvin just chews on. 
and obviously it's not gonna grow back and it's really not working. The reality of my life is I live in my parents' basement. I have fake plants because there's no sunlight in my room and this is just my life right now. Someday when I have my own dreamy apartment, I will make it as aesthetic as possible. So for now, you're gonna have to live with me making videos in my parents' basement. Anyways, part of the title that I wrote in this video was that I wanted to talk about some weight loss tips. As you guys know, I preach all about balance and part of balance for me is checking in on the scale here and there and seeing how I'm doing. I like to do this on Monday mornings right when I wake up. I do not think that the scale is the most important thing that you should be focusing on if you are on a weight loss journey. For myself, I have found that taking photos periodically throughout your weight loss journey and also using measurements is the most accurate thing that I have used. I would wear the same outfit, I would take the photo in the same position, in the same place, in the same lighting at the same time of every single day. I was that precise about it and I really think it's important because your body can fluctuate so, so much from the time that you wake up in the morning to the time that you go to bed. So I think it's really, really important to just be consistent with the way that you're taking photos so you can see if you're really seeing results in your weight loss journey. If you're working on just building muscle up, you're gonna gain weight because muscle weighs more than fat. Therefore, the scale's gonna show heavier and it's gonna freak you out, but you're actually supposed to weigh more because muscle weighs more than fat. For example, when I first started my fitness journey back in 2018, I put on 10 pounds and I was absolutely shredded. I will put the two photos up on the screen here so you guys can see. And I just think that, that proves the scale literally means nothing. So I just wanna encourage you when it comes to your weight loss journey to break out a tape measure, measure around your arms, around your legs, around your stomach, and just your problem areas. But that being said, I don't really wanna talk about the scale. I wanna talk about a theory that I made up when it comes to just learning how to love the body that you're in, especially if you are on a weight loss journey, because trust me, I know that that can be a very traumatic process. And to just feel like you don't love the skin that you're in isn't really the best feeling to have. And I know what that feels like. So you all know that I was a business major. I just graduated with my MBA in August of 2020. So I'm all about them numbers. I'm all about business. It is one of my passions of mine. In business, we like to talk about the value of money, right? So you're in a grocery store, you're strolling around, you're trying to figure out what to buy, you're checking your list if you made one, which is really important, and you roll up to something that you didn't exactly have on your list. And the price point says that it's $5. And you ask yourself, is this item that I really want worth $5? And some days you're gonna throw that item in your cart and say, heck yes, I'm gonna spend $5 on this item. And other days you're gonna say, heck no, that is not worth $5. I'm not buying that, I'm leaving it, okay? And I like to use this example in my weight loss journey as well when it comes to food. I like to look at spending calories as spending money. I feel like maybe this could be troublesome for some women depending on how healthy your mindset is around healthy and balanced living. But for me, this is so, so helpful. So I just wanted to share this with you. So when it comes to spending calories, sometimes I'll wake up and eat donuts and sometimes I'll wake up and I have eggs and toast for breakfast. And that completely depends on what calories I feel like spending that day. It depends on what my priorities are that day, right? When it comes to spending your calories, I always like to ask myself, is this donut really worth the 500 calories if my priorities are weight loss? I'm probably gonna say no to the donut because I wanna spend my calories on something more wholesome that's gonna hold me over longer. If my priorities are just enjoying and not worrying about it, then absolutely, I could care less about the $5 or the 500 calories that is in that donut. And I'm just gonna eat it and move on to tomorrow and I'm gonna make a different decision. Sometimes you're gonna wake up and you're gonna say, yes, I wanna spend that 500 calories on that donut. And other times you're gonna wake up and you're gonna say, no, I'm not spending 500 calories on that donut because I wanna spend my 500 calories on eggs and toast for breakfast. But also understand that you don't always have to say no to spending that $5. Sometimes it's okay to spend 500 calories on a donut. It's all about balance. I always say that when it comes to my health and fitness lifestyle, I strive to be more healthy than not. I strive to eat more healthy than not. That doesn't mean that I exercise every single day. No, I actually took a rest day this morning. Exercise was not my priority this morning. What was my priority was taking care of my mental health, relaxing, watching some videos, spending time with family, and then I'm gonna work out tomorrow. Ask yourself, just like you ask yourself when you go to a grocery store and you're trying to make a buying decision, is this worth it? And it depends on what your priorities are that day and what your goals are that day. And just remember that it's all about balance and it's okay to lean towards spending that $5 one day and then other days when you're in the grocery store leaning towards not spending that $5 just like you're spending your calories. I hope that makes sense. I love that theory. I literally live by that theory. If you have any questions about it, please comment down below and let me know what you think of it. You see, you hate me so much because this is like the third time that I've put you on camera. My dad just called and said that the university that I used to go to that Elena goes to is knocking down like a historical, it's not historical, that would be illegal. They're knocking down the old administration building. So my dad said there's a giant wrecking ball in it. Cause came what the hell? Like wrecking ball. I came in like a wrecking ball.
Lynn is waiting on me, so I'm like rushing. The wrecking ball was a fail. Traffic was so busy. We weren't actually able to even really see it. So Elena's outside right now. Oh God, she's pacing. And we're gonna go on a quick brain walk as Elena calls it because guys, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really being that productive today. I got a little bit done, not as much as I'm used to. I feel like I'm still in that MBA mindset of, oh my gosh, I have to get 15 freaking assignments done today and get all that done and then do this and do that. I think I just need to accept the fact that my life is a little bit slower now. Good morning, sweaty Marissa coming at you here. Happy Thursday. I just finished a quick cardio hit workout. Not gonna lie, I seriously have been struggling so much just to get into the whole workout thing ever since the time change. It gets dark here at like five o'clock and it is just not great. So I got myself out of bed and it was only 30 minutes, but better than nothing and I'm feeling so much better. I think I'm actually gonna end the vlog right here. I just wanted to say and remind you that health and fitness isn't about what you look like on your exterior. I remember when I first started my health and fitness journey, literally four or five years ago the body that I'm living in right now is the body that I couldn't stop thinking about and now that I finally have it I learned that it's not really about the body that you're in and what you look like it's about how you feel on the inside and when you feel good on the inside you look good on the outside because you're taking care of your inner health therefore that shines out in your outer beauty friendly reminder to start taking care of yourself first on the inside with your mental health whether that's taking a self-care day like you guys see me do a lot having a new skincare routine because it makes you happy or spending all day laying in bed and watching your favorite show on Netflix I've been loving been watching the show Younger on Hulu lately. Highly recommend if you have Hulu, go check out the show Younger. I am obsessed with it. The point is take care of yourself because life isn't all about being productive. Life isn't all about work. Life isn't all about what you look like on the outside. It's about how you feel on the inside. And I just want you to know that regardless of how many burpees you do, how many push-ups you do, how many times you show up to the gym, you were beautiful before you did that. So I think I'm gonna wrap up this weekly vlog right here. If you guys enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a giant thumbs up. It really does help support my channel and it helps me know what kind of videos you guys are actually enjoying and it helps the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe and tick that notification bell so you'll be notified every single time I upload. It is free and I will see you next week for another weekly vlog Sunday at 3 p.m. See you there. Yeah.